Alrighty, what's going on internet webs? This is a uh, hydraulic brake light switch. This is from my DRZ. Uh, this is one of those universal ones that you can buy for probably what? $7 to $10. And my exchange rate is probably about 130 rands to 160 rands. Right, the problem with this is these things tend to break off very, very easily. These things don't really have one of those connections where I can actually put a, a lug on there, you know what I mean? These wires tend to break, especially if you try to use cable ties and you try to neaten up the wiring on your handlebars, it'll tend to break. So this is my second one in three years. So what I've done is I basically have dug through the casing a little bit over there and I've did some soldering work over there, but luckily you can't see it, but you do see the RT gas sealant. I have used the RT gas sealant to seal off these two connections. The last thing I want is this thing to get wet and rain, these two points touching out and shorting out. How this thing works is basically like a, like a switch. A switch, open circuit, and a closed circuit. It's basically like a, if you think about your solenoid, how it opens and closes, open circuit, close, closed circuit, all right. Basically, it's, it's, there's like a little, I say like a little uh, seal over there. So what happens is when you pump your, your front brake lever, it pumps the hydraulic oil your, in your hydraulic oil inside over there and it closes that valve over there. All right, so it's basically it's an open circuit right now. So once I do pump my front brake lever, this hydraulic switch pumps and it closes off and it becomes a closed circuit. And of course, it'll be my rear brake lever light. Okay, so obviously, I'd, so obviously I'll be showing the, the, you know, the drivers behind me that I've actually got brake that I'm actually about to about to break. But I thought about why spend another seven dollars to uh, eighty dollars buying another one which will break again. So I thought about myself but going to the nut and bolt shop and getting myself a hydraulic brake light switch. All right. So I'm also taking this bolt with me. All right. So this is the same same pitch thread all right and the same thickness of course. But I also taking this measurement over here, the inside from there to there is a 20. So hopefully I can get something that's very, very similar to this. If it's longer, I can always cut it. But I need this, this setup here to be the same. All right. This space here to be the same, especially like here my thumb is. Yeah, so hopefully I can get this replacement unit at the nut and bolt shop. All right. Okay, thank you. Hopefully that makes sense.